are going to get electrocuted? Are they going to get electrocuted? Are we get a shot? Okay. There's some out there. If you want, I did. Just so I can keep them in order. Yeah. I brought my own. I got mine. Wipes. <laughs> I'm not touching nothing with my hands. I know, dry. <laughs> Before. <laughs> you look like a student standing out there. A student? You do, I don't know what. You look like you're in trouble. <laughs> I think that's good. Right? <laughs> yes. By the way, Mr. Wig. No. I that's okay. I'm gonna say it out loud. No, thank you so much. Uh, your police officers and your fire guys for um, hanging in there because they don't get to keep their three feet of personal space. No, no. Yeah, well, yeah. Not when you're putting handcuffs on somebody. <laughs> Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a good seat, John? Oh, really? Did they cancel? John, did you find a good seat over there? <laughs> you found a good seat? <laughs> All right. No, it's still so new. Your hair actually is nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I was at five weeks from I got to do that. Where the distance she was made. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, she put a little piece of the tape. Okay. That way we can find it again without remeasuring. Are we ready to get going? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um. Hey, Wayne, put your ears on. Wayne. We're, we're ready to get going. Yeah. Okay, can you hear Mr. Duckett? Okay, great, thank you very much. I'd like to call this March 17th meeting of the Northfield Township Board to order. Please stand for the invocation and pledge. Looking to you, dear God, the holder of all creation, may we humbly petition for thy guidance, compassion, love, and wisdom during these most interesting times. And may we be graced to lead a quiet and peaceful life, godly and respectful in every way. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please call the roll, Clerk Manley. 
Bellager. Here. Dockett. Otto. Here. Chick. Here. Zelenak. Present. Manley. Here. Shockley. Here. I'm all here. Okay, thank you. Um, now we have an opportunity for call to the public. If there are any members of the public here who would like to address us at this time, please uh, feel free to come up to the microphone and turn it on. Uh, state your name and your address, and you have three minutes to share your, your thoughts with us. Welcome. Hello. My name's John Taylor. I live at 471 East Shore Drive. Uh, I've been a resident here since 2007. And, you know, I keep looking at this property that we've been talking about. There's been a lot of talk lately. Um, I don't know what's, you know what's real or not, so I'm here to hopefully find that out. But I do think that this is probably the last big piece of property that is kind of like Whitmore Lake's jewel. Um, I would like to see it developed to where it can be probably our, uh, probably, but really, our, what brings people into our town, our destination. Um, not just another housing project. We've developed 1,500 properties around here in the last, I don't know, what was it, 30 years or something? It didn't revitalize the town. Now we want to do another 90, and from what I understand, it's to revitalize the town. This is, you know, we need to bring outsiders in. We need to bring our neighbors in that are, feel welcomed here. Uh, we put 90 new residents right there. That's not gonna bring any new people in. I don't believe that'll help our town at all. That's what I got. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, thanks. Now we have um, our uh, Public Safety Director, Bill Wagner, who's going to give us some information on what's happening in the township as far as our um, efforts to contain the virus and serve our public. Thank you. Doesn't, um, doesn't sound, doesn't sound on. Yes. And Wayne, can you hear the Chief? No. <laughs> Try. You want to use this one? Yeah. Thank you. Um, as you can imagine, we've been uh, really, really busy in the last week um, in the police and fire departments and all the other departments in the in the township. Um, I'm, I'm going to start with. Uh, one thing that I've been hearing a lot over and over, and just over the last couple of days, I've learned that it's not the case. So a lot of people want to uh, compare this COVID-19 to the flu, and they're like, well, this is the same thing. There is no comparison. Please, please listen to the warnings of the officials telling you what we need to be doing to try to slow the spread of this disease by isolating and by uh, distancing ourselves. Um, so, uh, again, I've been meeting and communicating regularly with State Health Department, with the Washtenaw County Public Health Department, police chiefs, fire chiefs, um, Washtenaw County, Livingston County, uh, medical control um, here in Valley Ambulance, and we're all trying to figure this out, right? So, uh, one of a couple of the things that we found is. Uh, we thought we would be eligible for personal protective equipment uh, through the strategic national stockpile, but it doesn't appear that that's gonna make it down to us police and firefighters. So because of that, we, we have some, but we don't have enough to get us through what we're gonna need. So we're altering the, well, you know, the way we're responding and uh, the uh, calls we're going on. So like in the uh, fire department, for instance, we're still pretty much going on the same calls except for anybody that has confirmed uh, COVID-19, been tested, confirmed, if they're a person under investigation and people with flu-like symptoms. We will then still respond, but we will more than likely just stage until here in Valley Ambulance gets there 
and then we will uh, go in if needed. Like I said, we do have some personal protective equipment, but we don't have enough to wear it for every patient. We're still going on chest pains. We're still going on cardiac arrests. We're still going on car uh, vehicle crashes, all that kind of stuff. Um, for the police department, police department's not going on any medical calls as we had recently changed in the last year where we were sending our police officers on all medical calls. They're only going when needed now. And the whole idea is to limit the number of contacts we're making. When the fire department responds, you're gonna see only one person going in to make contact with a patient unless needed. Then there are other firefighters awaiting if it's needed. Um, so those are some of the dramatic changes that we've made in the police and fire department. Um, I've been meeting with the, uh, the library. I've met with the community center. Uh, other businesses in the township have been calling as well as residents. We're trying to give them direction on how best to handle each individual situation. Um, so, uh, like I say, we've been really, really busy. Uh, one, one of the things we do need to look at in the township offices, though, is to try to reduce staff in the township offices. We have too many people in there. And I get it, they all have essential jobs, but I'm hoping we can spread them out, spread those jobs out and uh, you know, I'd like to see it, personally, I'd like to see it down to two, maybe three people at a time in that office. Um, just to, again, if one of those people, while well, we got seven in there, if one of them gets sick, then they'll probably, the other six are gonna end up being quarantined. So then it's really gonna make it difficult to operate. And my biggest fear is with everybody in the township office is if somehow we cross contaminate our police department. And um, so that, that's concern I have and why I'm trying to be so careful about not contaminating anybody. Um, again, we're meeting regularly. I keep updated on the uh, statistics within the state of Michigan and the statistics within the, uh, the United States itself. And uh, we're, this is going to get worse. This is going to get a lot worse for one reason, because we're going to start testing a lot more people. So again, I would uh, caution these uh, younger people that think that they uh, aren't going to be sick because they don't feel sick. But what we do know is that you can be asymptomatic and be a carrier of the disease, which is then passing it around to, to other people. And none of us want our grandma to get sick, uh, you know, because we unknowingly passed it along to them. So it's the whole idea of the social distancing. So any questions for me? Mr. Go ahead, Mr. Dockett. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, although hospitals, as of today, are starting to do testing. Uh, the previous week, all tests were done at uh, a county health department and then shipped to Lansing for testing. And now I know that local hospitals are starting to test individuals. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was probably a poor choice of words. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions for Mr. Wagner? Um, Mr. Ains. If I could make some further comments. Uh, Chief okay. and I both considered this to be a situation under your present employee handbook where it's an emergency situation where employees need to be off. And so we're looking at uh, having times when they're home and I've approved, I believe it's six hookups being changed by our uh, H, I mean, our IT guy to uh, allow them to be able to work at home to the computer here. Um, we also have set up a, uh, a schedule which I have here where I've asked uh, the employees, as a, among themselves, to figure out which days they could do work here, which days they could safely be at home, which days they might be off just to avoid having the congestion that the chief has talked about. So I want to start implementing that tomorrow uh -huh. if the board is in agreement with that. Uh, uh, in addition yeah, to that, we'll get uh, 
we are continuing to have the lobby locked except for like tonight for the public meeting um, and we're only taking uh, items that are mailed to us payment of bills uh, different things of that or if it's emailed using computer so it looks like we can handle you know any sort of payment in one manner or another without dealing with cash and if anybody has any questions, they're welcome to call the office. If someone doesn't answer because we may be a little staffed, leave a message. They're set up to take voicemails. We'll get back to them. And I've talked to the supervisor about trying to avoid kids or try to avoid having these meetings when we can. And to do that, I'd like to have the board approve that we can pay bills in advance with the required two signatures, but bring them back after the fact to the board. Because that's, in my mind, the biggest reason for having the meeting tonight was to get the bills paid. If, if we don't pay our contractors and suppliers, then that's going to put us in an awkward position. But also within the economy, if, if we can do a little bit of help here and there by paying our bills, it will help the, the general economy too. So. That's what our intent is, and Chief and I have been in constant communication. Yeah, and I might add that uh, the other kind of significant change in the police department and the fire department is obviously the lobby is closed. We are taking phone calls. We're handling police calls as much as we possibly can over the phone. Um, and I'm not advertising this for people to go out and speed. We have suspended our, our matrix for traffic stops to minimize uh, to minimize uh, traffic stops and contacts, but I will tell you, if you are significantly speeding, you will get pulled over and you will get a ticket. Um, there was one, oh, and so, as I mentioned with the township offices, we normally have two ladies in the uh, police department. We only will ever have one at a time until further notice, just to, again, if one of them gets sick, then at least we have another one to fall back on, so. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Okay, thank you. Any more questions for Mr. Uh, Wagner? No? Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be here for your report, Bill. Um, yeah. he, he wasn't necessarily going to be here for the report, Mr. Dockett. Uh, uh, do you have a question that you have not had answered by Mr. Wagner? A couple questions. Uh, okay, okay, if I can just... Uh, Trustee Ballinger, real quick, wanted to know how long. I, I don't know if I have an answer to that. Okay. It, it's really going to depend on the how this flows. You know, the idea is obviously we've all heard flatten the curve, um, and so the sooner we can start coming on the downside of this, we'll be able to start reinstating some of the services. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, I do have to applaud you for the effort. I know there's been great cooperation between the uh, public safety and Mr. Ains, and there's a great deal of concern for our employees and our public. So um, this is critical. This is critical, especially for our older population. So um, I have seen like a 15% death in the 80, per 80 years and up. If you, if you get it. So we really do want to protect our senior citizens. So um, this is very critical that people take this seriously. Thank you. Um, okay, I, we do have a couple letters that I need to can read. I, in the, can I make a comment? Yeah, go ahead. So this isn't targeted I'll talk to you on the phones. Right. It is in South Lyon. There is a family that has a child that has it. Mm -hmm. So it is targeted. It can happen to anybody. Right. right now in Michigan, we have 65 reported cases. There are eight cases in Washtenaw County. Mm -hmm. So there is a state of Michigan hotline for the okay. COVID-19 virus. Um, it's 888 Five three five six one three six, and it is open from eight a.m. to five p.m. seven days a week. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, I'm not minimizing it with younger people, but it's yeah. more deadly uh, for the older people. Um, okay, uh, I do have a couple letters that we promised we would read uh, during the public comment time, and then hopefully we can move on quickly through the agenda. Um, 
I just want to announce that Donna Lazinski is canceling her March 23rd coffee hour in Whitmore Lake. Um, she'll plan something else. Um, and then I have a letter here from uh, Dan and Judy McLean. It says, Dan and I have concerns about the current plan for the North Village from Livonia Builders. We have reached out to all of our neighbors who will be directly affected by what is done in the North Village. They have expressed concerns as well. We all feel that as the residents who will be directly affected, we should have input into any plan that could either enhance or negatively affect our home values. We would like to be involved if possible. We are very concerned with the current plan to put a mixed-use building as well as an ingress and egress on the three lots on Main Street. We feel that there is no need for an ingress-egress on the three lots. There is plenty of access to the property with the one ingress-egress on Barker Road and the one that will be next to the post office. We are proposing an alternative plan that will rezone the three lots to residential and have three homes built in keeping with the homes in the area. While we are interested in seeing the North Village property developed to enhance Whitmore Lake, we do have concerns and questions. So there's a, quite a few questions here uh, that I think would be appropriately dealt with at the, um, the open house town hall when we actually get to them. Um, does the board uh, want to see the rest of all, hear the rest of all the questions? I know you all have copies of this letter. You've seen it? You've seen uh -huh. it? Okay, great. Um, so they do feel these types of questions should be addressed before there's a plan decided upon only to find that it is not feasible or allowable. This will prevent the costs of redoing the plan over and over. Sincerely, Dan and Judy McLean. So, um, yeah, I'm glad uh, people are feeling welcome to send in their, their uh, notes to us at this time. Okay, board member response to call to the public. Do we have anything? Ms. Manley. It's not a response to call the public, but to Mr. Ains. Do we have a copy of the schedule that you've come up with that we could take a look at for the employees? I have the copy they came up with. I haven't added myself to it, but yeah, I can okay. give copies to you if you'd like. Okay, that would be great. That's it. If you want, right. I can go down what time you continue. Copies tonight might oh. be good. Yeah, I'd like to see a copy so we can go over it to see what we feel about it. Thanks. We did have another letter that was in here. Um, is it from Mil Melissa? Yes. She, she said that we didn't need to read it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other comments for, um, from Call to Public? Mr. Dockett. I would like to say that I agree with the gentleman that spoke about the park. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'd like to thank the clerk, because we're probably going to pass all that at once. Thank you very much for that very good information from the election results quick. So I appreciate that. Great. OK. Ms. Belliger. I want to mention that there is other uh, potential uh, proposals for the North Village. Uh, so there is, we are not, we, have no, we are not in contract at this point with Livonia Builders. There's other things potentially in the works. So there's talk of negotiating a contract, but no contract has come back, nor has it been signed. And the other thing I had a question about, uh, Mr. Ains was mentioning about paying bills and then we approving them later. I don't know if there's a potential problem with that or not. I wanted to kind of uh, touch on right that. Right now you do that anyway on the bills that are reoccurring, like electric and so forth. Okay. And that's the ones that you see in the one stack each time. This will just make the stack bigger, but they'll be bringing things back that we have been budgeted to approve, or there'll be emergency items that either the chief or I feel are needed during this situation. Okay. And one other question. Could you please repeat the number, Ms. Otto? Uh, yes. I wrote it on the back of one of them. Just a minute. Thank you. The number is 888-535-6136. And that's the State of Michigan COVID-19 hotline. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anything else? I would like to thank Mr. Taylor and his comments on North Village. And I would um, certainly like to thank Chief and Mr. Ains on all the efforts um, working on the COVID-19 virus and working their darnest to keep us as safe as possible. Appreciate that. Uh, okay. I just have a general question for the board. What are we going to do with our major topics? 
you know, like sewer bonds. Mm -hmm. We did the 45 day notice right through the COVID-19. So if people wanted to go and do a referendum, you can't, how do you talk to someone? You can't stay 16, six feet away. Are we going to republish that? That's my understanding. Ms. Mr. Ains has talked to the attorney about that. Mr. Ains, would you like to share what you uh, know? The attorney indicated that you should not try to stop in midstream because that just gets everything confused. But let the 45 days expire, and then at that point, the board can decide if you want to go forward with the additional days or not okay. and re-advertise it. Okay. And, and okay. when are the 45 days up? So April 15th is okay. when that time period expires, okay. the 45 days. Okay. So okay. we'll have that on the agenda? I guess okay. first okay. first meeting in April if we uh, have it. I'm, okay. I'm hoping well, that's we'll good. cancel our um, March 31st mm -hmm. meeting. Right. Okay. And then the other is um, in the manager's report, they're talking, there's North Village and direction to start negotiating or, you know, the board directed that. On a uh -huh. So what are, what's, what's happening with that? Because we are going to postpone most likely the town hall meeting. Yeah. Well, uh, up to now, ahead. the attorney and I have postponed it, Mr. Fink. Okay. As he had mentioned to you before, he went to Mexico on vacation for a week and just got back about a week ago. So we're trying to deal with everything with his office over the phone and emails and so forth. So we were going to start discussing between he and I how to approach both this and the 75 Barker that you also addressed us or had us uh, to, to deal with over the phone, and then we were going to try to reach the respective parties, in one case, Livonia, Bil Livonia Builders, and the other gentleman who was uh, from Cadillac, and, uh, and try to handle a, probably a conference call at some point on it. But um, it is kind of confusing to me with the board direction was to work out a contract and then, especially in North Village, you're talking about having this special meeting. So for us to work out a contract before you're going to have a meeting, and then you might change it, I'm not sure if that's productive. Okay. I, that's my okay. question and concern, because I want to make sure that if you know, we plan on having this town hall meeting, that we're not just going through the motions. I think that would be an ingenuous to our residents. Okay. Ms. Chick. I believe, did I turn it off? It it's seems on. on. Okay. I believe the, when we spoke about sending it to the manager and uh, Mr. Fink uh, for review to come back with recommendations, so be, just because they're working on a contract or whatever they're putting together doesn't mean that we're accepting it. They're going to give us recommendations on, on, on that piece, of, on that document when they bring it back. Also, on the um, town hall for North Village, we will still be having that. We, of course, had to postpone it. Ms. Delanock and I were working on um, ways to advertise it. There will be postcards sent out to notify the public. We'll be putting up banners to notify the public. There'll be posters and newsletters. So um, there will be plenty of notice for people that are interested in coming back to speak on the issue. And I'll learn to, uh, maybe we'll have the other proposal by then as well. So um, there's lots mm -hmm. to discuss, but there will be a town hall on North Village. I also want to tell people if they come to the town hall, if they have something else to talk about, it's, they can also speak to other issues at this one as well. So mm -hmm. we're not limiting to one thing. So okay, thank Great. you. OK, thank you. Ms. Otto. Thank you. Yes, so I did want to thank um, <coughs> Chief Wagner and um, and uh, Steve Ains in regards to putting together uh, the COVID uh, disaster plan or co business continuity plan. Um, personally working on it myself uh, through the past three weeks, um, it has been very many changes and you had to make a lot of quick decisions and sometimes um, you just had to make sure that you were making the right decision ahead of what the state was doing and the federal government was doing. So um, I wanted to thank you for that. Um, in regards to North Village, um, there were very many. Uh, we've had several visionary sessions over the past year 
uh, three years actually, on North Village in the downtown uh, development strategy. And I, I want to remind everybody that area is going to be more than just residents. It's just not going to be a residential area. It's going to be more than that. Part of it is, and, and part of that resident part is part of the mixed use that will bring also in commercial as well. And the whole point was connecting the commercial with uh, the commercial on North Village to the downtown area so it would actually expand the downtown area more. And then bringing the park into it as a centralized area to ground that whole piece um, for our downtown. The area that's currently being used is what was originally looked at as part of the park area. So what was described really meets what's in our master plan today. I just wanted to remind everyone that it isn't, um, it isn't just going to be a park, it's gonna be everything so that the downtown area can be more well-grounded and, and, and expand that footprint. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. okay go ahead. Okay, um, I also wanted to remind the board and the public that we are also looking into other options uh -huh. for having meetings um, so that we don't have to gather together to have a meeting. Um, and and we we're looking at some really good opportunities to do something different and not particularly costly, but at least we can get the word out there and we're protecting uh, our community and ourselves as well. So uh -huh. w looking forward, this was, we had to do this because everything happened so fast that we had to do something, so. Okay, thank you. Mr. Duckett? I am not as sure as Ms. Otto of what's gonna happen there at the park down there. I know she thinks, I don't go along with what she's talking about. Okay. I, I hope it be, just becomes a park, that's it. Uh, you were real fast about the posters. Geez, I was surprised. We talked about it last week. Two or three days later, we seen. I don't know about the color for sure, but no, no, we get to talk about but, that, Mr. But, Mr. Dockett. Uh, I I did mention about getting some new equipment in here. Yes. And it wasn't. It's not in the minutes that I said. You know, I don't get much respect. You know. I'm not in the minutes about it, and nothing happened on it, but I thought we were all gonna try to work on figuring that out. The meeting on the 31st, are we, I mean, are we gonna vote on canceling, or do we, can, we, we I never knew anything about can, it. Until can, we, can we get that far in the, I mean, here we are, we're not even into the actual meat of the meeting. Well, somebody said that they're gonna, we're not gonna have can a meeting. Can I make a motion? I'm asking, I'm asking the question. Okay, I'm gonna make a motion later. Well, okay, if you do okay. make the motion, and if we are gonna not have it, okay. I sure as hell hope we don't get a special meet two special meetings in between time. Okay, hopefully not. If we're, if we're gonna cancel that meeting, I don't wanna be here for a special meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I concur. All right. I would like to make a motion to uh, ex accept the consent agenda as distributed. Support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Ms. Belliger. Okay, Mr. Dockett, you had a question of Chief Wagner. Do you I, want to ask that right now before we adopt I, I will talk to Mr. Wagner on the phone. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. He always accepts my calls, by the way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. He hasn't changed his number yet. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, that passes 7-0. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to approve the open bills as provided in your packet. I'll support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Otto. Any discussion on the bills? Ms. Belliger. No, I want a roll call vote. I, want to, I will not approve these bills uh, with, that ex, with the expenditure for People's Express on there. Okay. As I feel the taxpayers expect their tax money to be used on roads and infrastructure first and foremost. Okay. So roll call vote, please. Okay, roll call vote. Uh, People's Express is the first one listed on the uh, open bills. What are we voting on? We're voting the on the open, open bills. bills. Open bills. The open Do you have bills. a question? What's squealing? 
Um, his mic is hot and it's near his um, headphones. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. We're voting on the open bills just to approve them or not. Right. Roll call vote, please. Oh, No. Did, oh, yeah. I did not. Second. I did not. No, I did not. Uh, I did, and uh, Ms. Otto seconded, and, but Ms. Belliger objects to one of them, so she wants a roll call vote. Okay. Okay. Roll call. People's Express. You did? Yep. We ready? Go ahead. Otto? Yes. Bellinger? No. Manley? Yes. Dockett? No. Chockley? Yes. Chick? Yes. Zelina? Yes. Okay. Thank you. That passes 5 2. Okay. Now we have minutes. I move to approve the minutes from the February 25th uh, town meeting. Was it 4 2? How could it be 4 two. 2? There's five six two. of us here. 5 2. 5 2. 5 2. She can vote on it. She can too. She's not putting any money in her pocket from that. It was the open bills. Yeah, I'm just putting in the bills. I guess yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. He said no, so it's 5 2. Okay. So um, we have. And, and 5 2. I move to approve the February 25th town hall meeting minutes. Okay. Motion by Bellager, support by Alf, support it, Chalkley. Any discussion on the town hall minutes, Ms. Chick? Well, not necessarily the town hall minutes, but um, I know we moved them up. They were at the back of the agenda from the first agenda that we got. Right. But shouldn't they be at number one? Shouldn't they be at the top of the agenda just as a matter of discussion right now, as opposed to they should always be first on the agenda? Okay, we keep going back and forth about where these should be. They used to be in the consent agenda, and then they were out of the consent agenda, and then they were at the end. Can we please just go over these and what? get out of the meeting? Exactly. So um, we, we can oh, rearrange them question. next time. It's a fair question. Okay. We can re rearrange them next time. Okay. In the consent, consent yeah. agreement? No. 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 We're no. in the minutes. Just a discussion no. comment. We, <laughs> we usually have them first, don't we? We already, all, did, a, we we already, already did the consent agenda. So it's the consent agenda is done. Okay. Now we're on to the town hall minutes. Yes, you did. You voted no, Mr. Dockett. For the bills. For the bills. For the bills. Was there, um, was there a motion on the consent agenda? He voted no, the open bills. He's complaining about the open bills. He's a, he's a didn't hear nothing about the consent agenda. Who made the motion on the consent agenda? Who I, did? I did, and Bellinger seconded. Exactly. And, Bellinger. and it passed 7 0. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we're at the open bills. Nope, now we're at the minutes. No. We're at the minutes. We're at the minutes. Well, we shouldn't be, I guess. We should I didn't be vote on bills. it. No, we already did the no, open, we already did we already the open did bills. The open bill. I right. did not it was vote five on two. it. was 5 2. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What are we, what, okay, now we're on the minutes. We're on the minutes. 25th, special yes. meeting, yes. motion. No, no, we're on the town hall. Oh, town right. hall. Okay, town okay. hall, special town hall. Okay. Okay, any more, any corrections on the town hall minutes? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, that passes 7-0. I move to accept the um, February 25th, um, Board of Trustees regular meeting minutes. Okay, we have a motion by Ms. Belliger. Is that the 25th? Yeah, yeah. the 25th. No, yeah, February 25th, yes. Got okay. Something right. um, page two. Yeah, we have an error on page two. Um, who wants to second that? I'll, I'll second. second. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, Ms. Otto spoke louder. Okay. She always speaks louder. So, uh, page two, Did you, you had the correction, Ms. Zelnock? Yes, on, okay. on page two, um, under the public hearing, the motion failed um, two to four on a roll call vote. Zelenak, Dockett, yeah. opposed, as well as Chicken Otto. Right. Yeah, there were no abstentions on that. Um, so it was four to, let's see, failed two to four, I guess that's how they would put it. Right. Okay. Correct. That was my correction. Okay, any other corrections? Ms. Bellager. <laughs> Um, I had questions on possibly page two, but certainly page three. Um, 
At the very last sentence on page two, was that Fink that said the board may not remove, or was it Kelly, the other attorney? And then again on page three, the name Fink, and I believe it's supposed to be Kelly. Uh -huh. On the left column, we have um, two times when Mr. Fink's name is mentioned. Uh -huh. One, two, three, the third paragraph, top right, where it says Fink. Is that Kelly? I'm just asking because I'm not sure. And then uh -huh. that same paragraph, the bottom line, Fink is again mentioned. I thought that was Kelly, but I'm not certain. Does anybody, can anybody verify that? I was having trouble with that myself. So I believe that was the attorney that was in the audience. Uh, Certainly no. on the page three on paragraph two, it would have been Kelly, where Chakley um, asked Iaquinto answer questions. Fink said Iaquinto declines. That was yeah. definitely his attorney. That's what I'm referring right. to, yeah. Right. That paragraph? So I am not finding that paragraph immediately. Um, on page three? Page three. Okay. The second Left. paragraph? Okay. The first sentence? Well, it's kind of the third paragraph. So well, it's, I don't okay. think you count the half paragraph, do you? Right. It, it should say Kelly. It says, you know, it starts yeah. with Chockley. Um, right. You're, you're and correct. Ms. Bellinger brings up a good point. I do believe that was, I, I'm not 100% confident, but that mm -hmm. on the last paragraph of page two was Kelly. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of pissed off here, you know. I got a, I got a agenda, and I can't even find out what the hell's going on. I, according to me, we're on 11, 12, and have 13. Yeah. 11, 12, and 13 is the minutes. That's correct. Uh, yeah. This is baloney. Do you have a, he needs an amended he agenda. He has the amended agenda because I brought it to him, but he probably did not renumber his items in the packet. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how the hell you can have you found screw things up. What we're dealing with, Mr. Dockett? Excuse me? You you found what we're, we're talking about right now, currently? You're okay? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I can't follow the agenda when I get the agenda. And I study the agenda, and I put it in place, and I get here. And then you, then you, you don't follow it. You have a new one, though, now, correct? Uh, when, when did we get the new one? It... It was it after it, Thursday? It was emailed. Well, out. Was, that's that's not it supposed was, to happen. Was it Friday. Anyway, we're we're doing we're doing the best we can. Let's well, move through the me meeting. Uh, I I just want you to know that I'm yeah I'm unhappy about this. Trying for me trying to figure out where we're at. Okay. And I and I want to participate here. Okay. Do you? Do you have your minutes right I got now? Them now? Okay. But, Do you have any I got other changes to why, the minutes? They're this, they're this far into my agenda. I, I understand, oh, this, Mr. Dockett, this, and I apologize for that. There were some other board members well, wanted to move We should out. always have the minutes at the beginning, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. We, That's ignorant to put them down in here. Okay. We'll make a, a concerted effort to improve our um, Order of the yeah, agenda. I move around occasionally. Okay, Mr. Dockett, do you have any other changes to the minutes? Okay. All in favor of adopting the minutes as amended, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I'm opposed. Okay, we have a 6 1. Oh, what we're doing, I, I, I'll vote opposed because I'm not sure what we're oh. doing on number two, the last paragraph. Uh, we're changing it to Kelly, right? Kelly. Okay. Unless we need to investigate which it is, because I'm not certain which it is. I think it's Kelly, but I'm not 100%. I think it's Kelly, but it, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yes. It does. it does? Sure. Well, we can't remove. Yes, yeah, okay. so can we, I mean, can we, yeah. If someone will look All at right. it and confirm it, then I'm fine okay. with the motion. With the confirmation, I'd like to make, well, I'm voting no because I don't know the answer to that question. At yeah, this I point. believe it is Kelly. I'm reading it. I don't know. It could be either, though. So it could be either. Five to two? Uh, okay. That could be Fink. All right. Did you want to hold on to these till next meeting after right. we do? Let's retract that. We'll retract it? Yeah, well, let's retract that. Uh, reconsider that motion then. I would just, yeah. And we will um, investigate 
what, the which one that was and bring it back. Well, okay. we'll investigate what that was. Then they're adopted anyway after this meeting automatically. Right. Correct. If we did nothing, you know, so. Oh so we have made some corrections. We're going to investigate if that should be Fink or Kelly at the bottom of page two and uh, get that correction. And there is a minor spelling correction on page three where it says Otto noted the board must send out pack postcards. It's just send. Yeah. That's uh, near the bottom. Send out. Yeah. It, mine says yeah. sent. S send out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll trust you, Mr. Ains, to find out what that really says. Okay. Okay. What I had on here, it says here on the page one. Page one. Uh, this is on the township uh, meeting, the township board. February 25th. February 25th. Thank you. Halfway down, <laughs> right hand side, docket ask about issuing uh, for the or docket ask about the building department when we were going to do something about it that's in here i also ask about the video auto stuff it isn't in here so i'm protesting the fact that i didn't i didn't get in the minutes and i didn't get anything updated about the auto i don't I already voted but by the time i got organized here I missed that. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a motion to rescind our adoption of these minutes, or to, to reconsider the adoption of these minutes. So if you want to provide a, a written Postcard. synopsis of what you wanted in the minutes, we can deal with them at the next okay, opportunity. I'll do that. Okay. So motion to reconsider the minutes. Support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Belger. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. And I want to have a number on what we're going to do next. Anyone opposed? So I can try to find it. Anyone opposed? Okay, 7-0. Okay, we will deal with them at a future time. Now we are on the special meeting minutes. March 3rd. On March 3rd, and that was number 13, Mr. Dockett. Okay. Okay. All right. So, who did we have one? Someone make a motion? I move to so I move to uh, uh, what do we say? Accept the uh, March third uh, special meeting minutes. Okay. Support. Motion by Bellager. Support by Chick. Any discussion on this one? Other than Rob Munger's name is spelled wrong at the top of the second column. We'll just have Lisa correct that. So um, we have a motion by Bellager, support by Chick to adopt the minutes as amended. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No. Thank you. That passed 7-0. Okay. The next item is the communication plan. And I know that Ms. Chick and Ms. Zelnock and Mr. Ains were working on this. Um, would you two like to discuss this at all? So first, I'd just like to make a motion that we postpone the town hall meeting on North Village until it is deemed by the state um, government to resume normal activities or regular activities. Support. I'll support. Okay. Support. Motion by yep. Motion by Zelnock. Support by Bellager to postpone the um, <coughs> April 7th meeting. Any discussion on that? I mean, I don't. Yeah. Where are we at on the agenda? It uh, is number new number five. It was number two. Yes. But we are. It was number two, but number it is two. now number five. Mm -hmm. But it, it's your number two. Number two. Yep. Oh, that's that's mm -hmm. the consent agenda. That's no, the that's. Should be number two, because I, I put numbers on mine too. 
and I had number two on mine. Looks like this. Should be number two. Wayne, it looks like this one. But it, and it has your color but posters. it should be number two. I'm pretty sure it's number two. It was number two, right? It was number two. Yes. We can discuss it, yeah. Well, you want it. There you go, number two. Good. All right. So then my next motion is I make a motion to spend up to $2,500 to communicate the town hall meeting on the North Village when it happens. Oh, Council okay. Park. Did, did we pass the first motion? Oh, did you vote did on it? Did we vote on the first motion? No. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I thought you did. All in, I don't know. All in, okay. It was seconded. All okay. in favor of postponing the April 7th meeting, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes. I mean, I, I okay, just go ahead. make a comment. I'm not sure when we'll have it. You know, obviously, I'm thinking um, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can have it sometime yeah. in May. So if there is an opportunity that um, Mr. Munger wanted to present his proposal, mm -hmm. would he be open to do it via, um, uh, like a, like a Skype meeting or a Zoom meeting or something like that, so where people can participate and watch it? To the board or to the... To anybody. I mean, uh, are you talking about a board meeting and... Or just as part of a special meeting. Okay. And this way, they, people don't have to necessarily be here, but they can view it. I believe, and that can be done. Well, yes. he could come here and do a presentation as he right. did, and it could be videotaped as we're doing the live feed. Right. Yeah. Instead of trying yeah. to Skype him in, he could do a presentation on the screen, mm -hmm. and it could be videoed and, and streamed. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at us, he would look at the screen. Yeah, that could happen too. Yeah. Either well, way. Well, I hate to leave him out since um, he has expressed interest in that uh, parcel. Well, so. I mean, um, I know that the whole point of the town hall was to get people mm -hmm. making comments and everything, but right. also part of it would be for him to do some presentation to the board or something. And, mm -hmm. uh, and with the limited amount of people that are here, I think that we could probably achieve the same thing and then do another town hall after mm -hmm. that. Okay, well, let's talk about some logistics of that offline and we'll see what we can do. Um, I know he's interested though, so. You're saying he could perhaps come here and do that presentation on the 7th and that we could have a town hall afterwards? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do the communication plan before we get to the other. Yeah, we're, okay. right now we're doing the communication. Uh, we're having Munger do another presentation. Mm -hmm. Is not, that what you're talking about? Right, for, for the North Village, though, not 75 Barker. Not for 75 Barker. No. Okay, so yeah. Ms. Zelnock made a motion to, uh, for postcards for... Okay. To spend up to $2,500 to communicate the town hall meeting on the North Village plans. And I supported. Okay. And so. is that just for postcards or is that for the banner and postcards? Is, um, the postcards are approximately 1700 The lawn signs, if we got 100 would be $160. Um, and then the banners, if we got two banners, put one up at the North Village and then one out um, by... The uh, fire station two would be approximately three hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So the only question I have is because we usually do this for, for Kiwanis, is, is that we make it more general when we do banners and, and lawn signs. So instead of having the topic in there, is just have town hall meeting yeah. with the day, which is going to usually always be on a Tuesday at seven o'clock at the town. Township Hall. So mm -hmm. uh, I think if you do it that way and just stick out the signs that day, that's enough for people to know that you're having mm -hmm. the meeting that day, um, even if it's the night before. Because if you do it on, usually when we when we did it with uh, different events, we usually did it on the sa Sunday before if it was a Saturday, and people knew mm -hmm. that. Then following Tuesday was the date that you were well, going to do we, it. We could, we could put them out Wednesday. Yeah. I'm not so sure about the lawn signs if we have yeah. enough people to do that. Well, I but put the lawn signs out for all the DDA stuff mm -hmm. and for the. That's fine. If you the, want to make them you know, a lot generic. of the cleanup 
the cleanup signs. So, and those are very, were very generic. So, the only question I have is where might we have this meeting? We had talked about having it at the school. Yeah. Well, let's wait until we're even pr remotely okay. going to. But, all right. So you want it. more generic on the banner yeah. and the mm -hmm. uh, lawn signs, correct? Yeah. Okay. I would. And then okay. just be the location for we this could, one. We could direct them to the township hall website for information on where it's at. You know? If you have internet. If you have internet, yeah. Yeah. Or they could phone call. Yeah. Call. Okay. Okay. So I don't know where we are on it. So, okay, so more generic? Is that what? Yeah, that that's all I was. I was just saying that for the banner and the yeah, lawn signs so you can reuse yeah. them over yeah, and over yeah. again. Got it. Yep. And then and the, the postcards are fine. And the only concern I have is the location. Yeah. I'm going to need this. Yeah, right. just make sure I'll, that you're I'll in the same location each time. two or three okay. things all together here? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about that's, doing the postcard, oh. the lawn sign, and the banner. It's a whole communication plan. I'm, I'm not here. Okay. Oh, I said I'm talking about that we would do postcard, lawn sign, and banners. And Miss Otto said make the lawn signs and banners just more generic. That town hall meeting, the you know the Tuesday 7 p.m. You have to put the date on them. No, no, we would put them out Wednesday for Tuesday. I mean, do you have to have the date on the banner? No, that's no. what Miss Otto no. is that's saying. That's what you're not going to make it more generic. Okay. Not to put the ban the date. Okay. And how come? How come we're accepting a offer? from Mr. Munger. Oh, this what? doesn't have nothing to do with that. This I thought you, you said no, something no, about no. a meeting I, with Munger. No, no I didn't no. say that. Miss no. Chick or Miss um, Chockley might have said that. This has nothing to do with that. This well, is what just. What she's talking about? We, he should not be giving us an offer. We should be telling him what we want. Right. Okay. So this is just this communicating is the town hall meeting, and this is the start of the communication plan going okay, forward. Well, I, I, I was hearing what she was saying. All right. So the, the postcards will have the date. Pardon me? The postcards will have the date and the time. Yes. Right. And those will go out before the banners do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. They will. And then, um, Miss, um, I know I, you can pick a color. They kind of suggest like orange, red, yellow, or green. Yellow. Uh -huh. You think yellow? Yellow and black. I think you did a beautiful job on them. Okay. Right. So yellow and black. You, uh -huh. you want? Okay. Is that so yellow? You want to have something that you can see far away? Well, orange you can. But, yeah, orange you can. But and I can do. You, so you want yellow and black? Yep. Okay. Is that what that is? Yellow? No, that's kind of orange. See, I, well, I'm going black. Okay. <laughs> can, can we? Which are one's we, yellow? Are we okay to move? Miss Bellager has a. Um, uh, the banners and lawn signs with generic print makes sense to me as something that we can reuse repeatedly for various, you know, special events that we have at town hall here. Right. I question the value, the actual cost, the value of the postcards, but that's that's my. I would probably like to separate things with regards because I could uh, I could see value in banners and lawn signs placed around the community. We have some spots right. specifically we can reach the rural and the um, Hamlet area with, with the yard signs and the uh, banner. But the postcards, I, I just am not sure if that's so cost effective. So that's, well, the that's my thoughts will go on to everybody. this. We can't guarantee that everybody will see the banners or the signs. So the postcards will go to their houses. So we, we, send, we have Ken uh, Dignan uh, send out them. Mr. He can do it cheap. He might be able to do it cheaper. So <laughs> if we could separate those items, I'd, I'd be interested in separating those items because, like I say, I could support lawn signs and banners because that's reusable and makes sense to me. I'm going to keep my motion as is and see if it passes and if oh, it doesn't. I, 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 okay, can I, okay, when I, I want to say something else more about More comment that. about the uh, communication plan. I'm just thinking, depending on the timing, we may be able to do it with the front page of the newsletter. I mean, we always do the newsletter. If we do, then you won't spend it. It says we'll up to. to. It doesn't say it. we have right. to. Okay. We call the question. Up to. Jackie. Call the question. I've okay. seen that it okay. said one-sided. Why wouldn't you have it put on both sides? Well, you know, it I says one-sided. That was me. Oh. I, I, I mean, I, I know I read it somewhere. You did. It says it right there. I just wanted to let you know. Okay. I would uh, entertain two-sided, but when I was looking and trying to prepare this to get it into the packet, there, if you don't put a date on it, you thing. can use it again. Science. You can okay. turn it around. We're all good at fast signs. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of looked do there. Both sides. So yeah. So this was an estimate. Wanted to get it in the packet before the Tuesday deadline. Actually, so. 
I think they took my pictures on Wednesday. You get damaged on one side, you can use the other side. All right. You get damaged on one side, you can. We have a call. Call to the call the question. Um, Do we need a roll call vote? Yep. We're going to need a roll call. Manley, yes. Otto? Yes. Felinock? Yes. Bellager? No, I'd like to split these up. Docket? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cockley? Sure. I guess. I guess. Is that a yes? I guess. Yes. I know. That's a yes. <laughs> All righty. I'm, uh. But if we can do it, a, you know. Good. Thank you. I, I'd like it to, you know, let's be as effective and as inclusive as possible of the information coming out. If it can be joined with the equalization base in something or other, let's do it so we're not wasting money. Yeah. The move to uh, okay. uh, prudent with our. Can we move on. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, number. Number six, right? A move to adopt resolution yep. uh, 26. No, yes. In Mr. Mr. Um, Dockett, this would be number four in the packet. <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. Okay, Ms. Bellinger has a motion. I move to adopt resolution 20-621, uh, the Whitmore Lake Fourth of July Fireworks Committee request to place a banner across Main Street by the post office for the Fourth of July fireworks event. Support. Motion by Bellager, support by Chick. Any discussion? Yeah, I just had one. Okay. Um, I know why we have to do a resolution for um, the fireworks committee to close the road, because mm -hmm. they need that resolution for the county. Yeah. Why would we need one to have a banner placed over the road? It, because it's over the road right of way and the road commission oh, requires, okay. Never mind. requires that. And actually, so. we had thought about doing that for the town halls, but because you have yeah, to do all this, that. we just said we'd put it on either the public safety building property uh -huh. or fire station mm -hmm. two or both, but or in North Village, but we weren't going to put it across. Right. Okay. Yeah, just for that reason. Yep. Okay, any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, that passes. I move to accept resolution 20-622, Whitmore Lake uh, Fourth of July Fireworks Committee's request for closure of Main Street during the Fourth of July fireworks event. Support. Motion by Bellager, support by Chick. Any discussion on this one? It's number five, Mr. Dackett. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That passes, 7-0. Okay, I would like to make a motion to... Now we're on number six. Uh, yeah, we're on uh, to grant permission for the Whitmore Lake 4th of July Committee to use the property, including all the lakefront front property associated with the property located at 9762 Main Street, Whitmore Lake, for parking. Support. Um, okay, motion by Chalkley, support by Ms. Belliger. Any discussion on this? All in favor say aye. aye. Hey, I want to know what they're charging for. Huh? He wanted to know if they were charging for parking. No, I mean, they never had. Donations, they, they get donations. Yeah. They accept donations. They just accept donations for the, um, to put back into and the And what fireworks. happens to the donations? Goes back to the fireworks. It goes go back to the, to the fireworks committee. Goes towards the fireworks. Uh -huh. yep. Thank you. Or, so the other thing I have is, don't we have something that says they will give us a percentage? Do we want to continue that? Not just the fireworks, but pond hockey, doesn't it? Yeah. Do we want to do that, or do we just want to eliminate that well, going I, forward for any organization well, that's think, a nonprofit? I think we should eliminate it for 4th of July. The township is able to provide some funds to celebrate the 4th of July legally. We can't do that for other things. Okay. So if we have a policy that requires us to get reimbursement for parking because we have to clean it up or something, that's different than the 4th of July. Okay, and that's the same for the parade because the, the okay. police department right. could charge right. the Kiwanis for doing the parade and, yeah. okay. and Got they it. participate. Yeah. Okay, okay, so all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Have a great night. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to approve the subrecipient agreement with Wash between Washtenaw County and Tetra Tech pending attorney review. Old number approval. seven, Mr. Dackett. The old number seven. Okay, yeah. 
So um, this is something that, an agreement that needs to be signed in order to move ahead with getting the pavement done at the, and the lighting at the uh, community center. And I did get um, a quote from OHM and a quote from Tetratech, well, an estimate. And Tetratech was $40,000 cheaper um, because, and what? On the design for the parking lot. Did we see a, did we see a copy of that? Did you see a what? Did we, did we get a copy of both of them? I got an email. I've got one from OHM and one from Tetra Tech. Did we they're get a, estimates. No, they're estimates, so they're not, it's not final yet. You can't put it out to bid. What would be the I mean, no, it seems, Bill, like, seems yeah. like we both, it seems like we all should have had I, I'm happy to give you my emails. But um, Tetra Tech believe they can do it for a lot less money. And since we only have $125,000, Total between us and this grant, it's going to be a challenge to get everything done that we need to do. Um, so it's just, I'm hoping that this will work, that we'll be able to get it done at a good at a good price. But because it's done with um, prevailing wages, that's a challenge, you know, because it does cost more. I'll have something to say about that before we vote. Okay, well, we won't, we won't get the final contract back until later. I can't hear you. That we won't get the contract back until later. We'll be able to approve the contracts with the sub, you know, the, the vendors that... Well, what I'm talking to. about is I, I find it strange that it's, that it's exactly... His bid is exactly what it's costing to do it. I find exactly. that strange. And then, how did that happen? And then on the back page, it says, uh, material testing cost for construction phase is not included with Tetratex fee, number one. Number two, construction layout of the construction uh, phase is not included with Tetratex bid, number two. Number three, uh, record draw, uh, the drawings, uh, of the complete work are, are not included. Well, yeah. I don't call that a very good bid. You, got, you know, you get the bid and then, you, then all of a sudden, well, nothing's included, I mean, you know. And then it's a no bid contract. They're not going to do anything until the, it's well, approved I mean, through the county. This is the county's requirement. So then I had to give them an, we had to give them an estimate of what the costs were going to be of them designing the parking lot, managing the bidding process, and overseeing the construction. And that's what is here. Now that's- But well, we don't know what these other costs are. What other costs? These costs, these costs are not included. Plus all the construction and all the rest of it. What I mean. page are you on, Mr. Dockett? What page Thank are you on, Mr. Dackett? Wayne, what page what were you referring to? What page are you on? What page were you referring to? You're back. reading from what page? 20. 20, okay. The back page. Let me see. Okay, yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I have a question. So yeah. these are estimates to, to get the grant approved is what you have here. Okay, there so when we get whatever back, then we're going to bid out the work? What happens is Tetra Tech does the design of it so they know what are the criteria that the companies are bidding on to actually build it. So they will put out the bid package and they will evaluate the bid package. This is just like the, what happened with the um, non-motorized path. They will evaluate all of that and tell us if it's a good bid or not. And then, uh, and then we'll be able to choose one and move forward. And OHM did the same thing? OHM gave us an estimate with a lot of different, um, well, it, it was more complete than Tetra Tech's, but it was also $40,000 higher. And it was for the grass, um, 
uh, don't know if it's forty thousand dollars higher yeah, because I mean, they pay every on their price. Yeah, missing yeah. fees from Chester Trap, it might not be forty thousand dollars higher, correct? OHM did not include the retention basin. There's going to there's if it's paved or uh, with asphalt or concrete, we need a retention basin or detention basin for the water for the runoff. Right. OHM did it for the geo blocks, which would be grass uh, with the um, plastic in in there. It was going even though. Without the retention basin, it was going to be forty thousand dollars higher. So, it um, it wasn't going to work out even close to what we have the grant for. I asked Tetra Tech to give me another estimate, which was a lot less. They also recommended, in fact, both of them do, recommended asphalt to you know to make sure that we can plow it in the winter time. Right. And it's you know it's smoother for um, the seniors. So we um, that that's the situation between the two. What are we going to do with the driveway section of going into the parking lots and the parking lot? Mm -hmm. There will be a lighting plan so that we can improve the lighting there. Take the ones down that are rotted and falling over. Um, and we'll get some new lights, um, street lights or parking lot lights in there. And it will be, if we have the north side, we will be able to restripe a portion of the south side of the building for handicapped spots. Right now we only have two. So we could restripe for four handicapped spots in the south side okay. of it. So that will improve the safety. The whole point of this is to improve the safety for our senior citizens. And getting in there in the lighting is very critical. Then the other part of it is the uh, flooring. Now, Tetra Tech isn't involved with the flooring. Uh, we did have a company come and take a look at the senior center yesterday. And we're getting um, a quote on that, although we need three quotes. So we'll be getting two more. And um, so we were looking at some flooring samples for that. And we're looking at a very long lasting um, tile that um, we were thinking of a sheet vinyl, but um, that's a, a, that wasn't recommended by this installer. So we're going to be looking at plank or uh, squares for that. Is so it an asphalt tile or? Hmm? I'm still this is the flooring that I'm talking about. I said it's an asphalt tile. Most, most. Oh, tile? no. The oh, tile? What is it? Uh, what kind of material? Vinyl. Huh? Vinyl. Yeah, like wood. Um, what did they put in it all the hospitals? Could look like wood. It's like what they put in, um, you know, Myers and hospitals, and you know, it'll be heavy duty, so that it will last for many, many years. Um, Miss Belliger. And this sounds like the point was that um, maybe not enough bids went out. If only Ohm and Tetra Tech were considering looking at this, and then of course the board wasn't aware of anything that transpired. That seemed uh, seems like a little bit of a a sensitive issue. Um, I don't know if this is a time and place to bring up a little bit about that parking lot, or should we just, um, if you could summarize real quickly, what basically is this about, this thing that you're asking us to adopt? It, it's a, this is, it's, federal stuff is really complicated, but this subrecipient agreement allows the funding to, allows the funding to be used for design and the bidding and the construction oversight of the parking lot. There will be more subrecipient agreements that need to be signed when we choose who's going to actually do the actual paving or the lighting or the flooring. These subrecipient agreements are standard when you're dealing with grants coming from the federal government through the county. So this is just an, this is basically saying we have decided to use this engineer for the right. parking lot. 
Right. That's what that's basically. Well, we have to pay them back. They after all, they wrote the grant. The total. So they wrote the grant. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to give them the 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 forty nine thousand or thirty whatever it is. We got to give it to them because they they're the ones that got the grant. Yeah. We have two township engineers, two engineering companies that the township uses. OHM. They're used for all the planning stuff. And then we have Tetra Tech. Both of the, and we've used them on various things. OHM was used on the sidewalk out in the front when we got that grant. Tetra Tech was used and Boss Engineering, they were used on the non-motorized path on Barker Road. So we have township engineers. I don't know why we'd want to be going searching for new engineers in the middle of a project. I just don't. Um, it. Well, I think too, um, because this is a federal grant, yeah. uh, being a federal block grant, knowing that we have to put at least a third of money up front for this, and is the construction, so I, I, this is what I need to have understood, is the okay. construction, the south part of the parking lot and the north part, we're doing both parts, or just the south part? We're not repaving the south part. Okay. Right. We're doing the north part. The, nor the north part we okay. are doing. Okay, because that's the part that really needs it. That really needs it to have the overflow. Right now we've got cars parking in the mud and people, uh -huh. you know, tra tracking that all in, and it's... And it's, I can't, you know, how many times has your car scraped up over that sidewalk? We really need the curb cuts there. Well, that's why I was wondering about the curb cuts. Right. And they will be designing all of that into the parking lot. So one of my questions is, well, one of my questions is this, is, um, is Steve involved in any of this? Because really, the isn't the senior uh, community center come under him? Well, we've, we were working on it together and then things you know steve has been very busy with other stuff and okay. i've been being pushed by you know the uh, urban county to get this going so steve has been aware of all of it okay. but he hasn't been and he was involved in the grant proposal but he hasn't been intimately involved with um you know the other stuff he's copied on the emails so he he and we've talked about it. I didn't want to move head ahead without talking to Steve about it. So that's that's why it's okay. taken so long. Yeah. The, the way I would describe it is, the supervisor has been involved in the interaction with the county people on the grant and what the involvement is there, what the technicalities are. But I've also been involved in discussions with both of these engineering firms, mm -hmm. and I've been involved in the design and discussion and when we first originally applied for the grant, what we were applying for. So it's been somewhat a division of responsibility that since she's been the one that's more acquainted with the county people, uh, she's headed up that effort. Mm -hmm. And he's been there every time we've had, like when we had uh, Tetra Tech come to take a look at it, and when OHM came to take a look at it, um, Mr. Ains was there. So we we were both involved when it with it. The reason is because I'm on Urban County, uh -huh. and that's that's a lot of the reason why I've. So uh, one more question is, what are you going to do with the shed that is on that side? It can stay there unless we want to tear it down. Um, it's not part of the grant. What did you oh, say? I, I didn't hear There's it. a shed on the back of that property. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason why I'm asking is the Kiwanis uses it, and oh. if it's going to get torn down, um, the Kiwanis may need yeah. to move their stuff. Okay. The parking lot won't go back that far. Okay. Yeah. And it won't take the tree out either, that great big tree. Um, we're not going to do that. It, it's, this is not going to be a massive parking lot, but we'll get as much as we can for our money. So, Ms. Chick? Um, I just wanted to say, I appreciate Tetra Tech and OHM as a planning commissioner. We've been working with them for a long time, and we call them our township engineers. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think that it's wise that we do go out for bid for certain projects for sure um, uh, if, with all of our contracted individuals. 
Um, we've had them for a very long time. Um, our planners, our um, engineers, our mm -hmm. whoever else that we contract with, our attorneys, we should be looking uh, for bids on a regular basis. Um, not only for to be, to be working with the township, but for, for, for the jobs that we do. We don't know if we're getting a good price, if we're just making an assumption that, you know, mm -hmm. they like us, they give us a good deal, right. you know, but, but we don't know. And if our goal is to be fiscally responsible, then in order to do that, we should be bidding out projects. Hooray for you. Right. I'd like to say one thing about the, uh, Tom and I have been talking, there are two curb cuts there right now. The old school used to be there. Darlene Curtis's used to be there. Nelson's Bakery and Grocery Store used to be there. Those curb cuts have been used for years and years and years and years. So, we, well, her and I was talking about it the other day. They have what they call a, uh, what is it, a, you called, you called uh, it in a... Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, let me remember? see. You call it an upgrade. An upgrade. Where you just pay, like... I had one done on, across the street. Cost me 80 bucks. Which was a good deal. So, huh. I'm just saying there's... The curb cuts are already there. Okay. I think it's a good argument with the county. Uh, so... Well, thank you. Thank you for, for what it's worth. Okay, thank I, you. I, th I think it's worth talking about. I was going to ask him to give it to us for free, but... Excuse me? I was going to ask him to give it to us for free, not the permit. Oh, but. well, 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 yeah, but it, well they, they, they're more apt to give it to you free if they're getting uh, just an upgrade, you know. Okay. They're not going to get much anyway. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Any more questions on this? Well, we'll have we to need do a roll call something. vote, please. Um, I do have some questions. Yeah, go ahead, Ms. Um, how much have we spent so far from the grant? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Right. We have not spent anything. All right. I, I just didn't recall okay. that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, and the grant, remind me, was the total of? 91. Uh, $91,246 or something like that. Nah, 91000 is good enough. Um, and, and, and then, then our portion was? 35000 35, Thank yeah. you. For like 121 or something? Or one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 126, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And this is needed, correct? It, well, yeah, it's, so it's this needed. is needed to go forward. So is that coming out of the grant, out of? It's coming out of the grant. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I consider it our, our duty to, to take care of our capital. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, we voted items. on it. So yeah. this is the next step before we this, can move forward on Improving the parking lot. This is the next step. It's okay. taken us a while, but this. And you're is the saying next step. that um, OHM came with a bid that was forty thousand dollars higher. Their estimate was higher. Yes. So. I'd like to see it. I'll give. I'll get it for, to you, Mr. Dockett. Okay. I'll. I'll, right. I'll copy it and uh, put it in your box. We should all have it. Okay. I'll send it out to everybody. Okay. Roll call, I guess. <laughs> Bellager? Yes. Dockett? No. Shockley? Yes. Manley? Yes. Otto? Yes. Zelina? Yes. Chick? Yes. The reason I voted no is because I believe the tax, that the senior center, the community center should have their own money, like the library does. Mm -hmm. They should have their millage. We're, it's getting very expensive. We used to do it for Sixty thousand dollars now. It's over three hundred thousand or something. So yeah. uh, it's growing by leaps and bounds, and it all comes out of the general fund. All government programs do. I think it's one hundred and ten or one hundred twenty thousand. It's a lot. Well, we just put a couple hundred in other things there, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, who was my second on this uh, motion? I forget. It's getting very, very expensive. Did you get the second? Now we got meals on wheels. Who seconded my motion on the seven agreement? Now they're going to need more help. I'll second it. Full time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we are, but, you know, okay. Let me get down to check. 
I'd like to make a motion to approve the conditional use permit of Hardscape Solutions LLC at 1031 West North Territorial as recommended by the Planning Commission. Support. I support. Okay, motion by Chuck, we support by Chick. Any discussion? Who, who would not vote for this? Hmm? I mean, it's, 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 okay, it's a good thing. It's allowed. It's allowed. Well, we're happy. Yep, that's correct. Progress. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes 7 0. Okay. Um, now, where are we? Now we're on trustee oh, room. Well, report. it's actually, I, I would like to make a motion for us to, um, well, actually, we've got another thing, too. Um, well, I'd like to make a motion for us to um, cancel our March 31st meeting. Because the, board. The, the only thing I have on doc, uh, on the docket for that um, is potentially 75 Barker, but we don't have the negotiations done yet for that. So... That's the only thing I have, and considering um, Not a damn thing. <laughs> considering the the virus issues, um, you know, I, I think it'd be a good idea. Every everybody else is closing up for a couple weeks just to keep it down. Is everyone okay with that? All right, uh -huh. I make a motion to uh, cancel the March thirty first meeting. Motion by Chalkley, support by Bellinger. Uh, any discussion? Sure. Should, should we wait for Miss Ch Miss uh, Zelnock to come back? We can, I don't we think can we vote. need to. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any roll call vote, please. <laughs> okay. I'll do it slowly. Maybe she'll get back okay, here before we get done. Slowly. Okay. Check. Yes. Manley. Yes. Otto. Yes. Bellager. Yes. Cockley. Yes. Mr. Dockett, you want to think about it? No, I said yes, but <laughs> I just thought maybe she could get back here. Okay. Zelenak. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. That was your yes vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seven zero. Thank you. You just voted to cancel the next meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I left just before um, that. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to bring up was, um, and we took this off the agenda, but we have in our um, emergency closings. Um, handbook in, in the employee handbook, the emergency closings, and um, it does say that uh, our staff will be paid if they're laid off, I mean if they're off because of it, and if, if we need to affirm that at this point, I'm happy to do that. I think that we need to. Um, okay. I know a lot of uh, companies are um, <clears throat> Doing that, I mean, for our comp the company I work for, they have extended five extra days, in because if you are out with the corona uh, with the, the virus, you're out for 14 days, right. uh, and sometimes that takes up a majority of people's uh, PTO and. Um, yeah. Are you wanting to just affirm what we already have in our employee handbook? That's what I thought. Let's just do that. Uh -huh. Make a motion yeah. to affirm that. And yeah, I I'll support. I, I was okay. So who's Motion Who's made the motion to affirm? Ms. Bellinger. Bellinger. I okay. move to affirm the um, uh, time off um, the as outlined in the employee handbook regarding this virus issue. Oh, okay. Is that clear? That I don't have that. Can we just say we affirm the emergency? Emergency closing policy. Yeah, the emergency yes. closing policy. Yes. I don't have that paper. Because it's not necessarily just to the virus. Right, right. It's right. The, yeah, we affirm the emergency closing, closing policy. policy. The I'll support handbook. that. So okay. I don't have that paperwork in front of me. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion by Bellager and support by Zelnock? Yep. Okay. Good enough. Any discussion? All I, in favor? I just think oh. it's good. I mean, our employees, um, we're, I think that we're very fortunate to have who we have. Yeah. And I think... Very fortunate what? I think we're very fortunate to have who we have. And they work really hard. And mm -hmm. if something really bad happens, or to keep them healthy and keep the township running, I think it's appropriate yeah. to do this. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Dockett. Why do they it? use up their PTO first? No. Or are they just going to? They, they're just going to. Yeah, we'll need a roll call vote because I, I won't vote yes on that. Yeah. So basically, like if, it's, if my understanding is we're reducing the amount of hours they're working so that, as Chief had indicated earlier to, in his comments, 
so we don't have a lot of people within a small space. Mm -hmm. to keep so are safe. you like staggering hours yes. to where some people work sometime right. and other right. people work? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You on the sheet here? Yeah. It, it yeah. does apply there, and then Chief and I talked to the supplies because there's no provision in the union contracts. It goes back by default, so to speak, to your employee handbook. So if they get somebody that's off sick because of this, or because they're isolated, it would apply to any of the employees who are off. Okay. Um, <coughs> there are no limit to the days that could be. Well, I don't think so. No limit. I, you know, I, I would think as long as the, the federal and the state government mandate that there is, um, there's the closure and there's this, we have a state of emergency right, so uh, issue that that should warrant it. So, so it, it it should be corresponded with that. Is that what you're? Right. Yes. So, I would think that it would. So, if they lift it, uh, right. yep. uh, the township should go back on yep. schedule. Yes. So, um, we, just are we going to put that in the vote? Are we going to put that in? Based on what the schedule is and everything. Yeah. So this would mean like I'm just going to pull somebody's name out. Like for Jennifer, Jennifer works on Tuesday and Thursday, but she'll be paid for the full week. Correct. Regular hours. Okay. Well, regular, regular hours. hours. Regular hours. Yeah. Four days. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I would mention, I let the staff work through this today, and I realize that uh, the treasurer has one of these employees, and the clerk has two of these employees, and so it's not intended to conflict with any of that. They've got to be approved. You know, when I figure out how this might work, they've got to get your consent for your employees. So that, that's fine with you. Right. I, go ahead. Okay. And this, I think that we okay. need to go along with what Chief says and cut down this number of people here. I mean, we don't need four people. And then as far as the assessing, I don't know if we have the say on who works when or if that's more up to um, the appraisal services on what days they're here, so I don't think we should really add them to the schedule. Has and anybody been identified as could work from home? I know we don't have probably the equipment um, to give them. That was going to be my yeah. another yes. question. What, what we have done is one is the controller I had approved about a year and a half ago to be able to work from home. Mm -hmm. So her computer is tied into the one here. Okay. So I've authorized today to have six additional employees hooked up. And I think most of us have a computer at home. It's just we don't have that access to here. So the intent would be then that when they're off, they can also do other work at times. Now. The assessor situation, since they've now finished the board of review, we're thinking they're wrapping up a lot of this. So we haven't confirmed their times, but but if they did need it, that's why you see four people on certain days. But the process with the with Jennifer and with the, tr the treasurer and the clerk's staff is that when Jennifer prepares the checks on a Tuesday, then they would go to the board in their normal situations. And then when they come back out, they would be available to have the clerk's office and the treasurer's office sign those. And then she would be back in in order to process this. So it's, it's taking into account the interactions between the employees, what the intent is to get and where we get down to the minimum number of people. Right, I just feel that if they don't need to be here, they shouldn't be here. Right. And I don't think anybody should be accruing comp time during this also. No. I don't know no. if anybody is. No, this wouldn't and trigger then, comp time. And then there may or may not be a May election, so that might affect on whether we're oh. going to really need Stacy here or not. So okay. right. we'll be posted on that. And that's why I, I said think the bare minimum of and people. the May election was for just um, uh, South Lyon South School District. South Lyon. And okay. there was a call today with the Secretary of State, and they're trying to get people to bump it to August. We have until Friday to get that figured out. And even if it does go to a May election, it will be by mail only. Okay. So okay. the state, I don't think, is 
you know, figuring this to be done anytime soon. Can they cancel? I mean, one state actually canceled their primary. Um, from what they said, I guess the governors really have more authority to cancel a primary than they do with anything to do with the millage. Locally? Okay. Yeah. Anything that has to do with the money. And that's really why the schools may or may not want to move it. Okay. But we'll know by Friday. Funding comes up. Right. It was on the news tonight that they asked for no other uh, state to cancel. Okay. Right. Okay. It's on the six o'clock news. Okay. Okay. I just think the bare minimum, and if they can work from home, work from home. Yeah. Yeah, that's the intent. Okay. Nothing Again, is that this vital. Was a, I can't wait for this. This was a first right. draft, and I just saw it about four o'clock. Okay. Try and have the staff figure out how they would interact. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep we'll keep working on it. So um, another question. So the access from home with your computers, they would be going into a cloud-based system? Because um, I know all of our accounting and everything is all cloud-based. So if they were at home using their own computers and everything, it would all be encrypted going into that cloud-based system? As far as I know, I'll okay. have to clarify that. But uh, all right. they would be accessing the same parts that they do now within the systems, and they wouldn't be accessing other things because we do have it limited by job need to access certain files. So there's certain things I don't have access to, for instance, but I don't need to because it's not part of my job. But uh, the same is true between departments. But the intent would be, like the chief said, to minimize the number of people and to uh, coordinate from home as much as we can. Okay, thank you. Ms. Chick? Okay, um, on, on another subject, I know there was a conversation earlier about um, allowing the uh, township to pay bills without um, oh, yeah. board approval. Is that something we want to consider tonight? I had it can on we, my list. Yeah, can we make this, finish this vote? I was that at the beginning, um, after the open bills? Can okay. we finish this vote? Are we still talking about the mandate or the pay? This is yes. the emergency closing. Okay. Oh, yeah. sorry. Where are we at? We're in the motion to, to reaffirm the, the oh, emergency. Oh, yeah, to reaffirm the, okay. Can we, we finish that vote? and then Do we go need a miss? roll call? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Roll call vote on that? Okay, uh, roll check. call. Check. Yes. Can you, can you read what, can okay. you read it back? It's a motion to affirm the, to pay the employees. Go ahead, read the motion, please. Uh, oh, okay. uh, would, would you add the, uh, by Bellager, support by, in the mic. by Zelnock to affirm the emergency closing policy in the employee handbook um, and, and provide, it provides for the payment of staff while off as needed. But, but then we talked about uh, going along with what the state said. Right. So you want to make a friendly so, amendment? So I'd like to so make a friendly amendment oh, uh, to, to, to get, that, along, get that in the minutes. During the time period of the state of emergency. If they lift the embargo, oh. everybody goes back to work. Right. So we should just add that it follows the, uh, the state guidelines, okay. the state time frame, okay. time, timeline. Um, Okay. We need something. And provide for the payment staff office. I, I guess we need yes. something if everybody agrees. Directed by the state, state yeah. guidelines? emergency guidelines. Okay. As directed by the state emergency guidelines. Now I'm going to have to vote yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we need a roll call vote then? Probably not. No? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Alrighty. Thank you. Seven zero. Thank you very happy much. To hear so that, I move to accept the trustee liaison reports, if we have them or not. I don't know if we still have them, but they're so on my I, agenda. Well, so, I'm but Ms. Ch we were talking about the bills. Um, bill. paying the bills. So, would you like to make a motion to pay the bills, uh, to allow the payment of bills? Yep. I would like to make a motion for the township offices to, or who would be the um, township manager, uh, clerk's office. Or the <coughs> treasurer, so who pays the bills? Treasurer. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> or the township. The, 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 yeah, I would just say the township to pay the bills. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll make a motion for the township to pay bills uh, during the uh, state of emergency, uh, following the state guidelines uh, without board approval. I'll but say. can I say that? Should can we like get it like we normally do a list of the bills that are getting paid? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. support. I support and, that. And you yes. can add that to your motion with the list of the bills being paid. Yep. 
then we can object if if there's any need to yeah. object. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The okay. intent of this would not be that it be forever, and right. it would be that at the next time you actually meet again, you would be confirming those bills that have been issued in the meantime. That could be a lot. Yeah. Sounds good. Support. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we have a motion by Chick, support by Bellager. Well, I support it, actually. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Motion by Chick, support by Otto. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes 7-0. Okay. Hey, so since we're making motions, <laughs> okay. I'm going to make a motion that um, going forward, the minutes will be after board member response to response. I will support. Okay. okay. They, they won't be in the consent agenda. I don't want right? them in the consent no. agenda. Okay. They will be separate. Okay. Fine. Yep. And they'll come after a board. Um, they'll be on the agenda and they'll come after board member response. Okay. And you supported that, Janet? Yeah. Well, does it have to be a motion? Okay. We'll yes, make it does. A motion. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, so we have a motion by Ms. Zelnock <laughs> to have the minutes after the board member response to call to the public. Who's the second? Janet. Janet. Okay. Ms. Chick. So Ms. Zelnock, Ms. Chick. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes. Okay. I move to uh, accept the trustee liaison reports. Okay, motion by Belger. I'll support that. I'll I have one question for Parks and Rec. Okay. When are we getting our sign for the park? Um, I brought a sign a graphic uh, some months ago, and it was um, immediately shot down by the township board. I can bring that again. I don't recall. No reason why not, I guess. And uh, we, had, we are not meeting this week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Was it, was it expensive? No, it wasn't very expensive. I even had the price. I had the graphic of it. I brought the whole thing, and it was uh, there, there was a pretty much thumbs down from the township board. There was no vote or even attention given. Okay, to I don't remember that. Other it was than shut down, I don't remember any discussion. You know? Yeah, it was all sour faces. They didn't want to see it, and it didn't look good, and that was it. Uh, I don't recall that at all. No, no. Well, good. We look forward to coming back. Okay, okay. excellent. It'll be new then. Okay. You Thanks. just weren't so, very talented. Um, the question, the one thing I wanted to make a comment on is the at least for the ZBA report, um, it being no report. The reason why there's no report there is that we haven't met for two months. So I, um, I choose not to write a report just to say no that there's no meeting. Okay. And waste paper. Planning commission. Okay. We could just delete them if there's no report. Okay. Well, I did send an email to okay. Jennifer stating okay. that there would be just, no report because yeah. there's no meeting. Can you just okay. put that on the agenda, like no, um, no no meeting? Was no meeting or something? Just right on the agenda so we would expect no report? Well, it's pretty simple just to say there's no meeting with a meeting. Why yeah. we well, just say no I did meeting? send yeah. an email at the okay. right okay. appropriate time saying we need there's no report because there's okay. no meeting. Okay. Okay. Suit no yourself! <laughs> That would be good. All right, good. Okay. That was it. Okay. Um, all right, so we have a motion by Bellager, support by Chalkley to accept the trustee liaison reports. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes 7 0. Okay, any announcements by anyone? Um, Parks and Rec is, of course, canceled for Thursday, but I guess that's not a surprise. Okay. Ms. Manley? Um, just to follow up on what I said before, I guess if you're in South Lyon school districts, just be aware and we'll update on if there will be a May election or not. Just keep an eye on our website. So. Okay. What is the website? All right, the Northfield Township website. Okay, yeah. great. Thank okay. You. Any other announcements? Okay, second call to the public. Nobody? Okay. Um, board member comments. Do we have any board? Mr. Bellinger? I want, I want to take a, uh, I want to thank our township professionals, uh, Mr. Raines and Chief Wagner, for sure, and the township staff for diligence and professionalism with handling this virus issue. And thank you, Jim, and our and colleagues for coming out tonight and wishing you all a blessed week. Okay. Ms. Chick? Um, I would like to say that if we are going to give Mr. Munger the opportunity to present a proposal, that we need to offer the same um, um, opportunity to the other two that um, have also put in proposals. 
I'm not sure how Brower is, would be interested, but we can certainly ask them, and I know they already did. I do know Livonia Builder has not presented a proposal in public. Uh, right. If, and we okay. would like, people might would like to hear that or have questions for them. Also, um, okay. where are we at with the appraisals on the properties? <coughs> so far, I have not heard anything further from the appraiser. So I'll try to contact him again. Are we looking at for another appraiser? I thought that's what we were going to go do was look for an informal appraiser, appraisal yeah. from someone else. And that was like a month ago. Right. Okay. Right. Washtenaw County uh, Parks had some appraisers they could recommend. Well, my intent originally when that came up before was to talk to Mr. Fink about if he had worked with others because this appraiser came through Mr. Burns. But I haven't done that yet. So. I mean, couldn't we call a commercial realtor or any real t realtor company or, and, and ask them if they've got an appraiser they can recommend, as opposed to relying to some people that aren't, we aren't getting responses from? Okay. okay. In, in, in addition to, if I may add on to that, Madam Chair, sure. is um, Ms. Chalkley had mentioned um, even contact Koi Vaughn from the Washington um, Parks and Rec, because they said they had some appraisers they could give us names of that right. they use. That were very reasonable price, too. Yeah. So. I think a commercial appraiser would need as well, too, yeah, because they're going to be different. Yeah. Well, they have a mixed-use development on the DTE site. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to what our plan looks like. Okay, Extremely, cool. so. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. Thanks. Now we can have something back in a week, I hope. I'll try to. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Otto. So um, I want to reiterate what uh, Janet just said about having um, more than just uh, Mr. Munger present. I think anybody who, any developer that would want to present at this time, it's open. Uh, if we're not going to go through the process of, you know, evaluation like we did before, and we're going to have them just present and then start picking and choosing that way. Um, it, it just seems like we've changed the direction of how we were uh, deci deciding on a developer. So um, the one question that I have is, is if we get more than uh, Livonia Builder more than uh, Munger uh, presenting, um, will they all go through that same process of evaluation? It would be a lot cheaper to do it that way than, than the way we did it before. And then if, I mean, if I know that people are talking about, you know, a 23 acre park or a 10 acre park, but we've never seen any kind of a plan from anybody or a design if, they, if someone who wants to send something in you know, we can certainly take a look at it because right now we have no. Clue. Yeah, but that's not part of our master plan. Right. No, but the park area we're talking about developing. Yeah. 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 <coughs> no, we don't want to rewrite the master plan again. Uh, okay. Um, anybody down here want to? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I think spring. That's it. Think spring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, so I just have a comment. I'm going to piggyback on Mr. Dockett's comment. When we look at the capital improvement, I would certainly like to add sound equipment for this room. Please. An estimate or get out and go get a bid for it. Okay. And maybe the whole, you know, video and how, make sure that's working the best it can be because this is the way, one of their main ways to communicate the people. And if you don't talk into the mic, like I am right now, when it's almost eating the mic, they don't hear you. Right. And, the so right. and I've heard a lot of people say the sound is just terrible listening yeah. to it, so. Yeah. Who, who, is, who are we gonna get? Can Jim help us on this, or? I don't know. Or how do we find somebody so, that, that uh, can? The company I, I work sure. for, we just, we just built a, um, a new facility up in Flint, and we incorporated, what is called Zoom in all the conference rooms and okay. training rooms. And uh, Zoom can, you can record, you can, um, you can have, depending on the type of license, you can have at, at unlimited amount of people on, on at the same Zoom. time. So 
in a situation like this where you have to, ha you want people to call in to do a call to the public, that type of thing, uh, you could have time where you allow just one certain person to talk at a time. I mean, you can control it all and uh, by the host. The host can control the whole meeting as to who's talking, who's not, and uh, also the whole thing can be recorded as well. Can we ask Mr. Video. St. Charles if he's got and any, any, any paperwork or I guess I was not there at his meeting, but you guys were there and, and you talked like that was a great uh, it system. Was. I don't know what type of equipment they use. Um, you couldn't oh, even see microphones. You yeah. couldn't even see microphones. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know yeah. how they did it, but I really, okay. it was very impressive. We should get some Maybe somebody could contact uh, them. Okay, so um, i just like to see that yeah. go in our capital improvement plan. Yeah. yeah. It was, I think it's a very important aspect of our, our yeah. board meetings and communicating to our public. Okay. 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 Just as Mr. Dockett has been saying all along. Okay. So I confirm. It may be as simple as uh, starting with improved microphones. Right. Would that be a good start? Might make yeah, a big maybe, difference. Maybe Mr. Nelson can give us a... Uh, uh, thought okay. be as one. Well, um, okay. There you go. Thank you. I think we do need to take a look at. I mean, Mr. Ains has put together a capital improvement plan, and we should consider funding some of that. So I'd really like to see some of the priorities put into the budget for the next fiscal year. And uh, we haven't gotten to that in this meeting, but we've got to get our budget adopted by the end of May. So we don't have a lot of time left um, oh, if I could money. yeah if I could comment on that uh, yes. you do have the draft plan it is a draft that's the intent is get it feedback and Miss Elnick did talk to me the other day about some of her concerns including this so if any of you have any input let me know and then okay. we'll come back with a revised draft okay thank you all right um, any other comments from the board all right, I would like to say, uh, keep your gatherings to less than 10 people. Social distancing, please. Wash hands 20 seconds. Use sanitizer if you can't wash. And stay healthy out there. So um, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Stay alive, please. Try not to touch me. Thank you. Well, it was longer than like one hour. Yeah, that's what I thought. We can do it.